Hello, this is Bill Batson. We're here to talk about broad blank quality. What it takes to design, produce, and maintain a high standard of quality. And the areas, the key areas where rod builders should check when performing their own quality inspections. I mean, there's so many places you can give blanks now. That I think it's very important that you learn how to look for a quality blank. The design of a blank, the consistency of blanks, the tolerances of blanks. And we've been doing this for a long time. You've probably heard the Rain Shadow name. We've sold over a million blanks under the Rain Shadow label. You know, we've got 45 years of rod building in our family. You know, my son's third generation. My son and daughter both work here for me. And you can't beat the longevity and the legacy that we care, that we love what we do. I mean, this is not just a job. This is who we are. We've worked in factories all over the world. A lot of the factories, they can't meet our standards. And we just let them know. And a lot of times, we'll buy from them, and if they send me 100 blanks and I have to reject 30 of them, they're not happy about it. <laughs> but that's just part of the deal. I'm not gonna jeopardize my reputation and my family name on having a product that's subpar to bats and quality. Good. I know a lot in this industry have been around a long time, but I'm only as good as my team. We got Kerry Batson, awesome rod builder, been in this industry a long time like me. Mike Thorson, probably one of the most recognizable rod designers, been around for 45 years. James Henning, product manager up here at Batson Enterprises. They're gonna give you more in depth on what we're talking about. Hi folks, Mike Thorson, James Henning. And we're gonna talk about some of the key areas that determine what a quality rod blank is versus a rejected rod blank. One thing I want to touch on that's kind of a hot topic from time to time is where do the blanks come from? We deal with vendors in numerous different countries throughout the world and what we have found to be most important rather than country of origin is how well this vendor meets our qualifications when we're trying to produce a quality blank. We spend a lot of time going over a lot of different areas with them to make sure that they're capable of producing rain shadow quality. We actually visit these factories, spend time with the engineers, and build relationships so they're more of a production partner than they are a factory. It's just really important to us that we're working with great quality people and that they take good care of their people as well. I talked a little bit earlier about our combined experience. That's what enables us to go qualify these locations and make sure they're handling material correctly, things are stored correctly, that their machines are run correctly and set up correctly, that the ovens are working right. All the different parameters that are so important in blank development. They're working with the finest cello wrapping machines with correct tape tensioning setups and so it can be monitored correctly. They have rolling tables that can be adjusted properly for pressure. Patterns are covered up when they're not being used. They're put back in the freezer if they're not used the first 24 hours after they're cut. All these little different things that make a huge difference in the end product are being done by the vendors that we work with. We're using materials that are made by the very best pre-preg suppliers in the world today. We specify every aspect of a given material that they're gonna make a blank with, whether it's from Torre or Mitsubishi or numerous other companies. We're talking about ply thickness, which is fiber aerial weight. We're talking about scrim material. We're talking about actual fiber that's being used, and we're talking about resin content. Only then does it become a pre-preg that we can manufacture with. We're very, very fussy about all those various aspects of the materials that we utilize in our blanks. Not only for new models, what we will do is we'll take legacy rod models and go through them and see where we can apply these new technologies and these, these new resin systems, new fibers when they come out. We don't settle for second best. Hi, I'm Kerry Batson, Batson Enterprises. I built my first fishing rod when I was 14. I just turned 50. I've seen a lot of blanks through the years, hundreds of thousands of blanks. So I'm a picky builder. I like quality. That's why we set up our business was blank quality. And it's kind of what we want to show you today is Batson Rain Shadow Blanks. Uh, we sell our blank quality, which means it's a straight blank. You can build on the spine. There's no ferrule knock. The finish is perfectly clean. It's a flawless product. And in blank quality, the first thing most rod builders do like I do is we'll look down it and we'll look for straightness. And you can see that this particular blank is darn near straight as an arrow. I'll give it a roll. 
And I'll see how much it lifts, lifts off the table. And this one might be a quarter max. And you're not gonna notice that once you build that rod. So this would be considered a blank quality blank. Finish is perfectly sanded. No bubbles in the finish. This one actually doesn't have any finish, so it's, it's a good thing. Or you don't have to really worry, worry so much about paint. Uh, but sanding is important. There's no ridges, it's smooth. Give it a flex, always give it a flex. Little tip flex, if you see anything kind of a wobble here, maybe looking for broken tacks. You won't see too many of those, uh, AKA corkscrews. Some manufacturers will sell those as first runs, which can be a gray area as far as resin flow for strength. I would take this as definitely blank quality, otherwise known as first run. Most of our ferrules are always, always snug, no ferrule knock. So you have blank quality, perfect, within reason. Number two, rod quality. Number three, we call it a second. Second can be cosmetic flaws, like bubbles in the finish, scratches from staples in the boxes. You can't build it on a straight edge. It has too much curved one way or the other. Might be a little corkscrewed here or there. May have a slight ferrule knock, but one thing it isn't is a breaker. So a breaker would be a defective product and those would go in the garbage. So you have blank quality, rod quality, seconds, and trash. So don't be fooled by that fourth one because that fourth one is trash. Some people sell it as seconds. That's not a buildable rod. It's, it's a breaker, so it's useless to anybody. So those should technically be thrown in the garbage, in my opinion. Everybody asks us, do we sell seconds? We don't. We don't sell seconds because we don't get them. Our factories don't get them. They make them that good because they know when they come here, we're going to reject it. So that's a, it's a big deal. As a custom rod builder, I'm going to pull a blank out of the bag. Like I said, look for straightness. Feral knock, no. Cosmetic blem, no. I won't take scratches. I won't take bubbled finish. I won't take chipping, peeling. That's a no. Lots of people want to sell fishing rods and sell rod blanks. A handful of them do it very well. We're up here, so we're setting, we're setting the level for these guys. And do they go as far as we do? I'm gonna say no. Uh, nobody does. Uh, cost money to reject. You need people to inspect. If you're getting a crooked blank from another factory that sells rods, I think they're shortchanging the custom rod maker. They'll see that crooked blank, they'll send it back, they'll get very little respect from those manufacturers for the most part. Tell them, no, you gotta keep it. Tell them it's first quality, we're not gonna warranty it, we're not gonna give you your money back. I hear it all the time because they, they don't really care that much. They could just take that and make it into a fishing rod and not have to hassle with us custom rod builders. We at Bats and Enterprises are all custom rod builders, so we don't mind hassling with you. If you see an issue, we'll get it fixed up. It's easy, no problem. We'll get you, get you right. We want you to build on the perfect rod. You're not gonna see that through most manufacturers. We really test blanks very, very thoroughly for strength a number of times. The other aspect that we do, once we get them to the point where we feel the strength is where it needs to be, we put them in the hands of professional anglers, guides, various folks. Anthony Gagliardi, who's a very successful tournament bass fisherman. Sean O'Connell down in Louisiana. Sean's won the World Redfish Championship four or five times. We have them utilize this product for probably 12 months before we ever introduce it to make sure that it's, it's durable and withstands what the real world does to it versus what we can mimic in a test situation. We're also having lodges and other guide services fish our product. Lodges like Casa Vieja down in Guatemala. We have big dens up in Alaska. Really heavy duty use, not just heavy duty fish, but heavy duty volume. What's really cool about putting it in some of those other hands, take Far Corners, he's a guide service and he's taken out both professional anglers and amateurs that don't really have any idea what they're doing or how they should use a rod properly. That's the perfect test for any rod blank. If it holds up to that, you know, you got a quality product. Our return rate is under 1%. That's almost unheard of in the industry. And it's a real testament to how well we design them, 
and make sure that you're getting the strength needed to have that blank perform properly. Yeah, during development of these products, there's brake tests being performed multiple times at the factory before we get them. When we get them here, we're brake testing them multiple times, checking for flat spots, especially on designs that are two-piece, three-piece, and four-piece rods. You're not going to have something fail on you in the field. When our blanks are coated, you will not find runs. You will not find little air bubbles. We're very, very particular about how anything that we coat is done correctly. We also use UV stable epoxy coatings and urethane coatings. So the color that that blank is will stay that color. Sanded blanks have become popular because when you don't coat a blank, it can be a little bit lighter in weight. But you have to be very careful from a design standpoint that you don't sand away too much. And then we have inspection standards in place. So you're getting a nice smooth blank, not one that has little bumps and ridges when they didn't sand it correctly. Vendors that we work with are producing and painting the blanks in a separate area that is sealed off from the rest of the facility so it's much cleaner. From some companies it may be possible that you could buy a five weight one time and the next one you get feels like a four weight because they aren't very consistent from lot to lot. You will never have that with a rain shadow. That's just not gonna happen. At any given time, we have a 97 to 99% fill rate across the board with our blank models. That means that if it's something that you need, we probably have it, and if we don't, one of our distributors does. Over the 22 years that we've been in business, we have supplied over 1 million, I'll say that again, 1 million rod blanks to the industry. We ship fast. You order, it's gonna be shipped same day or the very next day if you order later in the day. If you order on our website, say over the weekend, you're gonna get that thing shipped out on Monday. When you call, you're gonna get a live person, and that person is gonna have experience to, to steer you in the right direction, whether it's how to build a rod, what rod blank you need, or just if you wanna tell a fish story. It happens all the time, it's great. We recently, what was it, about two years ago, rebuilt our entire website top to bottom to provide better service to you folks. You'll find easy product selection. When it comes to blanks, if you don't know, somebody wants a drop shot rod, you can type that in and up will come the models that are applicable for that type of fishing situation. You throw in our build sheets and all the different things that we've done to make it easier for you folks to get to where you want to get on that rod build is done for you. Our phone number is at the top. We encourage the conversations. That's how you get better, and that's how we get better. If you ever have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Bats and Enterprises, we're always here. Rod builders, fishermen, we love what we do. Aloha, fish on. I remember I was on Facebook myself the other day. Lo and behold, somebody had a question about a rod blank. Who pops in but our CEO and says, contact me directly, and he listed his contact information so that customer could talk to the guy that owns and runs the company. Who else does that? <laughs>